Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Beach Scene. <laughs> I might I might be coming up with a better title, maybe not. It's a 5 by 7 Painted this yesterday. W it went real well. It was um, actually kind of a study for something. I'm probably going to do this scene larger a little later on, but... Um, yeah, I wanted a few uh, smaller pieces for this upcoming show uh, that are in this sort of beach. Um, and we'll see. If, we'll see if it pays off. It's a you know a little economically uh, depressed here in uh, New Zealand at the moment, I, I, as it is everywhere. So no complaints or anything. We just keep painting, try and sell things, make videos. You know, enjoy life. That's it. As long as I can paint, I'm pretty happy. So, what's up with this? Okay, well, we're painting on some hardboard, as per usual. Uh, we did our underpainting with some black uh, that's thinned with some Archival Oils brand, Oilless Lean, which is a quick-drying oil. Um, I used the black here because I had every intention of jumping in. In fact, I did just jump right in and start doing the color. I uh, I didn't belabor the drawing stage much. Just got some things sort of set up and um and then jump you know oh, oh in this case actually and you'd see this in the members area i pre-mixed the colors in the morning um yesterday uh, and then went home for lunch and they run some errands and things and then i uh, came back and jumped into the drawing a lot of times i'll do the drawing first and then do this pre-mixes on the color you can always see the the pre-mixes on the color uh, in the members area. You also get a crack at uh, looking at my reference image, which is, you know, going to be illuminating. Um, yeah, and if you are a member and uh, you ever want to make a study after one of my uh, my little things here, yeah, send me an email. I'll I'll pop you that reference image. Why not? You know, uh, odds of your painting coming out looking like mine generally are not. That's very interesting. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today, which is the uh, all this AI art. I don't know if you've been uh, catching uh, um, information about that. Uh, mostly on YouTube, um, there's a pro uh, online program called Mid Journey. Another one, uh, the names escape me. But basically, what these um, these AI um, programs do is they're fed like something like seven eight billion images a lot of those probably might be um not a lot but some of those are probably my images because i've been putting my stuff on the internet for forever and what it does is um it also is inputted with text and um you type a sentence in and it will spit out an image and if you like it you go with it uh, if not you just keep it in the randomized button until you do and so the program is trained to uh, start uh, creating better and better images but the downside is is that it's actually accessing the work of artists um, in, a, in a way that's uh, infringing their copyright basically so it's uh, you know it's kind of uh, it's a thing that's all I'm gonna say and if you haven't heard of it uh, don't worry about it but I would say the best response to it is like actually it doesn't it's not going to impact you unless you're a professional and if you're a professional you might you might start losing some gigs you know I was a commercial artist a commercial illustrator for 13 years and I kind of saw something like this coming um, what I will say though is and I've talked about this on the the channel before uh, it's all the more reason to get uh, out of the digital realm and start making art in the real world, okay? Uh, with real art materials. Frankly, uh, I use the digital. I did use the digital to help me set this up. And uh, actually, you'll see this in the members area. You know, that reference image looks a bit garish. It looks a bit weird. But I knew I can reconcile everything as I'm painting because, you know, I'm the artist, right? sometimes it's okay to have references that are a bit weird um, because you're gonna you're gonna reconcile things you're gonna make things look good um, one thing that uh, I did a lot of here was like I had these purpley uh, tones blue tones moving into creams uh, and things in the sky and that was very much uh, reflected um, 
in the landscape as well the only that was purples going into greens all of the greens in this though um oh you want to actually another thing i want to lay on you is how do you make a good aqua hmm maybe i've been i've been i haven't had much use for it until i started doing all this beach stuff um i'll tell you how i'm gonna tell you the aqua secret now if you were like a, again a member you would know already but yeah i appreciate you too appreciate you coming around and uh checking out the process you know okay so like phthalo blue phthalo green phthalo blue is your best aqua uh, blue no hands down you could probably manage it with another blue if you still had the phthalo green though a lot of times i would maybe just inject uh take that blue hit it with the white so it kind of identifies itself as blue as you know the phthalo is like it's so dark without some white in it you can't really even see that it's that blue um and then uh throw in some cad yellow uh which gives you starts giving a green but you bring in the cad yellow with the white so a lot of times the way to counterbalance the super ohm green effect is with white um, and then uh, lately what I've been doing is adding a bit of phthalo green and that's just been giving me a great range of aquas a, a lovely range because I can adjust that through uh, uh, you know how much white I have or how much yellow I have or how much blue I have or green yeah you get a, quite a nice range you can see down at the bottom there that's a really pretty color also in this one I decided to put a bit up in the sky a lot of times I don't do that um, but you know the great thing also about painting a little five by seven. This is a That's a two-hour painting actually so uh, uh, Many times like if it had just been a straight-up skyscape I would have been done. Oh our book. Do you want to paint tonally? Do you want to paint better? Are you tired of trying to find the info you need? There are hundreds of videos on this channel You could watch for days and not find the info you need until now Introducing my new book, Landscape Painting the Toneless Way. Everything you want to know in one place. Order your copy today, Landscape Painting the Toneless Way. Sorry that just popped up on you like that. I was busy, uh, you know, talking. Lots of people have been getting the book. We just uh, sent out like... Uh, Oh, they're signed and numbered too, just so you know, so if you order one. Uh, because I'm self-publishing it, so I've made a, a deal directly with the printer. Um, I'm still in the new year here, going to try and find a, a big-time publisher to publish it, but that's getting kind of tough. It's tough to even get uh, to the person that would be making the decision, uh, I'm finding. Um, and it's not... You know, the other problem, of course, is I'd rather uh, take that time and do another painting or make another song or do just about anything else other than sit there. And, you know, it was really fun making the book and a lot of hard work. Uh, but marking the book, not so much. I wish I had a um, uh, Prince Charming could just come in and do it for me. But that's not going to happen. Anyway, check it out if you're interested. The uh, price is still 55 It's going to go up. Going to go up in the new year, I reckon, to 60. Yeah. And uh, I've got copies, you know, I'll send them to you and they'll be signed and numbered. And I believe it will be collectible down the road, you know, we'll see. Anyway, um, so you got the Aqua Tip there. Thank you for that. That's good. Uh, interesting. So, like, uh, we're yet not into the landforms yet, but the sand you can see is kind of. An echo of the cream tones in the sky right and the landscape itself with the uh, the arcing of the sand with into the peninsula um, it, that there's an arc in the sky that mirrors that too so kind of some sophisticated little compositional things I'm trying here also the uh, horizon line I raised it a bit higher than in the um, the reference image because because uh, it felt good and it's also I love to break that rule I don't know if you've heard the rule but uh, the rule is that you shouldn't put your horizon exactly halfway um, which is just a nonsense rule it, it, I put my horizons halfway I, I just do it intuitively instinctively now and uh, do you know who else did that uh, a master named George and S okay so that rule is just uh, it's balderdash is what it is it's balderdash 
Um, now you don't have to. You can move it up, down. I mean, in fact, that has a lot of impact. So many things have an impact on your painting, really. Starting with the size, the proportion, right? This would have a very different feel if I'd handled it in that more landscape uh, sort of proportion. Um, again, here I probably have some kind of little fancy frame uh, in that 5x7 size so I can, uh, you know, have a few nice things uh, uh, in nice frames at the show. Um, that was kind of in the back of my mind and uh, probably be continuing forward with that. So, uh, you know, and, and the thing is like the beach, we, we have so many beaches here. Um, you know, they call Fongaray the land of a thousand beaches. It's not a thousand beaches. I don't know what they're talking about, but there's a lot though. And um, I'm not especially a beachy kind of guy. You know what I am? I'm a in the studio wanting to paint kind of guy. <laughs> uh, but it's been a good subject. It's been it's been interesting, fascinating, really. And I've got more to do, more in me. Um, more more ch more chances not to use a play of color now here's a question you know is this actually count as a tonalist piece maybe not you know what would you call it though it's definitely not impressionism um it could be f some sort of phobism i am getting a bit crazy with the purples in the landscape that was just something i decided to do um, because the actual reference image for this was pretty boring uh, before I, I started fiddling around with it and a lot of times I don't know what I'm going to do um, you know but here I decided to play the aquas even the greens in the landscape have an aqua sort of feel they're not based on my normal earthy Mike's green there are they're keyed off of phthalo with black to kind of kill the intensity and uh, a little bit of blue and white and that sort of thing yellow um, I'm real happy with the way all these forms turned out. Uh, I will admit, though, uh, while I was painting it, I I was kind of... And this happens to me all the time, too, so maybe it happens to you, too, where I'm kind of thinking, like, I really don't know what the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> You're like, what? And you wrote a book? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. We all have that feeling. What you do is you just ignore it and keep going, and you're going to do something, and that's where the experience comes into play because the more you paint uh, the more you can rely on the more you sort of know what doesn't work right and the more that you um, will listen to that interior voice it says hey why don't you try a little bit of pink here which I did do I saw I saw, not pink but um oh yeah that uh, little um, these little uh, that that shape in the back I decided didn't work at all Maybe it would in a larger format. It was just distracting. And I, I kept fiddling with it and messing with it, you know. And finally, you're going to see in one second, we bailed on it. We were like, nah, that's not looking good. It's not looking good. There we go. By the way, that's a very handy implement, that little cheap plastic T-square. You can't buy them here in New Zealand. They don't make them. Um, easy to get in the states though if you don't have one I recommend getting one and of course I have the bigger t-squares too but that works great for smaller paintings yeah um, so the as so often I the waves is the final and I decide not to go as bright or as white here as I maybe have in the past um, but you know there is a bit of lightness there and it really is the payoff it really is the thing um, I've been playing around a lot with the sand lately, as you may or may not have noticed, and uh, the uh, amount of dark, that little dark ridge, well, look, obviously that's where the water is going into the sand, it's just hit the sand, so it's quite dark, um, and then other degrees of that. Um, I do think this uh, approach worked pretty well. I may try this as a... Um, a larger panoramic down the road, yeah. And the thing about Ocean Beach, uh, this beach not far from here so um but so many it's 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 kind of generic -y, you know you got a peninsula pardon me you got some sand you got some uh, waves you got pretty colors in the sky and it's quite a synthetic uh, painting and most of what i do is and synthetic in the positive meaning of the word not the negative meaning not uh, that it looks like plastic but that it is 
um, a created uh, scene. You know, it's based on a real thing, based on a real place. But I've had to play with the colors. I've had to play with the composition. I've had a play all the way around. I'm basically just using the landscape as a vehicle for my imagination and uh, trying to get some emotional feeling across. Oh, we're going to do that zoom in and out again. Anyway, video over. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I really appreciate you. I hope your 2023 coming up is going to be an amazing year for you. Even if it's a tough year, just keep painting, you know. Get yourself some paints and some boards and paint your way through the hard times. That's what I intend to do. And um, at least you have something to show for it, you know, uh, down the road, you're... Your family will have those paintings or maybe they'll be you'll be lucky maybe they'll be in a, a museum or something like that you know either way you have something to show for your time and we had we had an insight into your mind and your consciousness so uh, keep on painting in the new year and until I come back with another video for your edification and enjoyment do me a favor do me a solid take good care of yourself your family all your loved ones Stay out of trouble this year, please, coming up. And uh, God bless you and your family.